How you doing, good people? This is the 8 Bit Adam. And anybody who remembers the 80s knows that anti drug propaganda was everywhere. Um, and anti drug policy was very, very harsh on certain communities. Um, it's not something that we really need to discuss here because if we did, we'd be here for about a week. But alas, um, it happened and there were a number of just pieces of media and other and programs and everything else designed to tell kids the pitfalls of drug abuse. Um... There were cartoons, like, uh, there was a cartoon special that had characters from everything from the Muppet Babies to the Ninja Turtles banding together to keep a little kid off drugs. You had a very special episode of G.I. Joe where G.I. Joe and Cobra banded together to shut down a crack house. There was all kinds of stuff that happened back in the day. This was an example of something that happened back in the day to keep kids off drugs, right? Um, problem is, an unlicensed game, it's hard to get, came out in 1992. I mean, I could go on. But this was not a good tool to keep kids off drugs. Today, we're going to take a look at Wally Bear and the No Game. Now, Wally Bear and the No Gang, you play as Wally Bear. Wally Bear has been sent on a little mission to collect his friends and get them to go to his uncle's house, Gary Grizzly, who is throwing a party for them. Now, this party is supposed to happen at dark, so you got to get all your friends and get them back to Gary Grizzly's house before dark. And so you take off on your skateboard because most of the unlicensed game, well, a lot of these unlicensed games with wholesome messaging involve a character on a skateboard. Look at Sunday Fun Day. I mean, Sunday Fun Day is not a great example because it was originally Menace Beach. Um, but Wally Bear meets up with his friends who tell him their problems. He kind of guides them on their way and continues to skate along, um, fighting assorted enemies and stuff like that on his way to his uncle Gary Grizzly's house. At the end of the game, all of your friends are there. Apparently they beat you there. And when the party starts, you, uh, Wally Bear reveals to his friends that he's brought a new friend along with him. That friend being the player, or you, in quotations. Now, I guess, you know, good message and all that, but the game just didn't work well. It, it wasn't a very good video game. Um, and yeah, it just, it was whatever. Um, this game just, it, it lacked a whole lot of polish. And that's where we were with it. Um, it was sponsored by, it was sponsored by some nonprofit organization, the National Clearinghouse for Alcohol and Drug Information. Um, and even with that, it just, I guess, you know, it was about as effective as dare, as those dare t-shirts proved to be. And in my teen years, I saw a whole lot of people wearing dare t-shirts while they were smoking weed. Um, it is what it is. They sell those, they sell those shirts at Hot Topic now. And, or they used to at least. But, yeah, um, 
stuff like this was really ham-fisted and just didn't work well and because this game was unlicensed and you couldn't find it anywhere really it was incredibly ineffective but yeah if let's say you are interested in Wally Bear and the No Game um, copies are about 50 bucks they're actually cheaper than they used to be uh, bah, 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 bah. if I I mean if you're a collector cool this is in the grand scheme of things this is a relatively inexpensive thing you can add to your collection that's kind of uncommon but I don't know if it's worth that much money um, it's not a good game. I'm still trying to understand why it got the reviews it got with Game Pro Magazine. Um, I, I just don't get it. But if you're curious about it, cool. Check it out. Uh, don't say I didn't warn you. This has been the 8-Bit Animal. And I'll catch you beautiful people tomorrow. Tomorrow, we take a look at Hanna-Barbera's greatest canine character. No, not Scooby-Doo.